Yes. Ten seconds. Congratulations, brother. The Archdeacon will be delighted. I think we ought to go. assignment, Father Unwin, and a most baffling one. I see. A steep rise in the number of acts of sabotage over the last four months. And you say the file you just sent me contains all the relevant information? Yes, indeed. Personal statements, eyewitnesses, everything. But so far, nothing concrete to go on. Nothing whatsoever. No clue as to why it's done, no lead on who does it. But it's imperative that it is stopped. I leave it in your hands. Quite so. Goodbye. Deacon, are you receiving me? Loud and clear, Gregory. Project Roadway, reporting complete success. Interesting point here, Matthew. When the Mac 4.5 aircraft was sabotaged, eyewitnesses mentioned a vicar seen near the airfield. Doesn't sound very interesting, Father. Another vicar was seen at the time of the destruction of the experimental weapons station. And now we have a further incident. The army truck? Precisely. And yet another vicar was involved in a car crash a few hundred yards from the explosion. I see. Is he hurt? No, not seriously. He's in Stonehouse Hospital. I think we should visit him. Let's call it an errand of mercy, Matthew.
Come in. My dear chap, I heard of your dreadful mishap and I felt I had to come at once. Now tell me, how are you? I, uh, I'm fine. You're not from... The bishop, indirectly. Now tell me about your accident. What happened? Well, uh, I was driving slowly along the road. The next thing I knew, I'd crashed through a fence. Poppy Hart, a case, Matthew. Pardon? Case? Your case, most unfortunate. I knew it. Overtired. You doze off and crashed. You've been overworking. Overdoing your pastoral duties. The pastoral duties? The care of your flock. Well, I won't dally any longer. I'll leave you to get some rest. Well, let's hope we meet again. Uh, thank you for calling. The least I could do. And I'm sure we'll meet again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can you talk, Matthew? Yes, Father. The radio's on. I'm convinced that man is an imposter. I'm not sure he even knows what pastoral duties are. Added to which, he seems to prefer pop music to hymns any day. I think we're on to something. Matthew, I've just seen yet another member of the cloth entering the hospital. It's my guess you have a visitor. I understand, Father. Be careful, Matthew, and await developments. Brother Thomas, this is not a rest center. Switch off that radio, Gregory. Oh, this is a surprise. Surprise? What do you think it was to the Archdeacon when he heard? But it was an accident. Doesn't the Archdeacon know that? Your accident could jeopardize the next assignment. By far our most important job to date. Operation Fish? Yes. I know you understand the Archdeacon's attitude to mistakes, Gregory. And you were a vital member of the team. I still can be. In your state. But how long is it before you do it? All the Archdeacon will say is soon. But it'll be over long before you're out of here, Gregory. Porting a change of quarters, Father. A change for the better, Matthew? Oh. Not entirely, Father. Will you be following? Of course, Matthew. report as soon as I can. What news of Gregory? Oh, it'll be days before he's allowed out. Days? That means we'll be without a demolition expert for Operation Fish. You're forgetting the new recruit from Section 6. The Archdeacon says he has a good record in demolitions. Brother Jess? Brother Jess. A demolition expert. He's due to arrive tomorrow morning. Interesting, Matthew. Very interesting. I'll wait till tonight and see what else I can find out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Father, can you hear me? Father? Father Unwin. Or, oh, oh, to who should... Father Unwin. Ah, ah. Father? Ah, Matthew, what are you doing? Opening a safe, Father. Oh, dear, <laughs> opening a safe. You're certainly a man of many talents, Matthew. Fortunately, I overheard the combination. 36... That should do it. Oh, good, good. Do be careful. Uh, what can you see? I may have something here. Go on. A list of fees received for the destruction of the Mark 4.5 experimental aircraft, 25,000 pounds. A destroying army truck, 15,000 pounds. Uh, you mean these people are mercenaries? They do it solely for money? Looks like it, Father. Well, it seems we know why they do it. All we need now is enough information to catch them red-handed. This could be it, Father. Operation Fish. No doubt about it, this is it. Fee, 75,000 pounds. Excellent. Now, I think you would be well advised to remain where you are. And we'll see what Brother Chess can do in the morning. Good night, Matthew. Good night, Father. Good morning. Can I be of any assistance? Oh, good morning. <laughs> I'm looking for Penny Ridge Seminary. My map seems to disagree with your signpost. Always a problem. Always a problem. Could the signpost have been tampered with? Well, it seems unlikely. <laughs> it's possible. Penny Ridge Seminary, you say? Yeah. Let, let's have a look at your map. Uh, no, no. I'll follow the signpost. Oh, well, if you insist. Brother Jess reporting, Matthew. I'm on my way to Penny Ridge now, and I'll organize your release as soon as I can. Somebody approaching the house. Extraordinary vehicle is driving. It must be our new recruit, Brother Jess from Section 6. And dead on time. May I come in? Brother Jess, I presume. That is the name I seem to be travelling under at the moment. Oh, excuse me. Indeed, indeed. Yes? Oh, yes, Archdeacon. Get into the case as soon as you can, Matthew. Right, Father. Yes, sir, he arrived a few seconds ago. Right. Goodbye. The Archdeacon's coming through in a moment. We'd better take our places. Is the Archdeacon usually so mysterious? The Archdeacon makes his own rules, Brother Jess. Our job is to wait. As long as we're all comfortable, very comfortable, thank you, Father. I'm back in the case. Here he is now. Welcome, Brother Jess. We are expecting great things of you. 
I only hope I can live up to your expectations. Oh, I'm sure you will. Though, of course, we shall need to be satisfied that you are completely familiar with explosives, detonation equipment, etc., etc. Of course, of course. Any test you like to set me. You don't seem to lack confidence, Brother Jess. Uh, Brother Thomas will take you to the laboratory to see if your confidence is justified. Father, please be careful. You don't know a thing about explosives. You like it, Brother Jess? I could play here for hours. All right, Brother, perhaps you'd begin. Brother Jess, would you identify these detonators? Well, question of such simplicity. Now, uh, let me see. Um... Welcome back, Gregory. I discharged myself from hospital. I couldn't leave you without a demolitions expert for Operation Fish. It was good of you to concern yourself. Fortunately, we were able to arrange a substitute. Substitute? Yes. Our new recruit, Brother Jess. Well, let's see how he's getting on. I think Brother Jess has told us all we need to know. Anyone who treats nitro like that must be an expert. Explosives should be treated like a lion tamer treats the big cats. Show him you're not afraid. Archdeacon! Archdeacon! What is it, Gregory? Archdeacon, that man's an imposter. He's not Brother Jess. Are you certain? Positive, Archdeacon. I know Brother Jess. That man visited me in hospital. You'll have to postpone the operation. No, I think not. Operation Fish goes ahead as planned. Tonight, we destroy the Invincible. <laughs> Are we all ready? Ready, brother. Brother, let's get to work. You forget. I still don't know what we're going to do. Just watch this. You see, brother, radio controlled loaded with your explosives and set on a fixed course across the bay. The end of whatever it hits, I see. And I'm afraid, brother, the end of you, too. Explosive set. All set. Right, all aboard. And, um, enjoy your trip, Brother Jess. I'll have you untied in no time, Father. It's under radio control. If I can break the link. Hurry. 
Ready to activate control. Go ahead, brother. Matthew! Jump, Matthew! Matthew! That's right, Bishop. An army vehicle. Heading west. Leave it to me, Father. And what's your next move? First to pay a visit to the Archdeacon. Peggy? Ah! And then to get Matthew home to bed. Thomas, is that you? No, Archdeacon. I'm afraid it's only me. I underrated you. But then, you underrated me. Stalemate. Nitroglycerine. I called in at the laboratory on the way. Just put that flask down. Ah, the constabulary. I told your colleagues, Archdeacon, this stuff is like a tiger. Only dangerous if you show your fear. There. Oh, Bolly, oh dear. It would appear there are times when the tiger takes no notice. Do 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 do